Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week, July 29th. Click on the titles below for the full story. Audro's CUAS System, Capturing Intruding Drones in a Net. The Audro System, a drone solution that captures foreign drones in a net, has completed successfully testing in the Czech Republic. As opposed to other interception systems, which operate by shooting down or electrically paralyzing the intruding drone, the Audros, Autonomous Drone System, solution provides a fully safe alternative that poses no risk to people or property in the removal of its target. The tests were conducted using Fly 4 Futures Eagle 1 drone, which would take off from its docking station after detecting the presence of an unwanted drone. Upon approaching a foreign drone, Eagle 1 releases a net from its chassis to capture the intruder. Archer UAM aircraft moves forward with Honeywell's Micro VCS. Archer Aviation and Honeywell Aerospace have entered into an agreement regarding the supply of flight control actuation and thermal management technologies for Archer's production aircraft. Honeywell's offerings are invaluable to Archer's operations, with the aerospace company's actuation technology playing a crucial role in Archer's 12 tilt 6 configuration and its thermal management technology to be utilized to elevate Archer's in-cabin experience. Is FAA's remote ID rule for drones constitutional? The court ruling. A three-judge appellate panel has ruled that the remote ID rule for drones, which would require all drones to utilize technology that will identify the location of both aircraft and pilot, does not violate a citizen's reasonable expectation of privacy. Read the ruling here. Tyler Brennan, owner of drone reseller Race Day Quads, sued the FAA last year, claiming that the remote ID rule violated the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, amounting to surveillance. However, the judges ruled against the argument. Most residents are okay with drone delivery in the U.S., but will they pay for it? Autirian's new study. Drones are delivering coffee, food, groceries, library books, and more, but residential delivery is so far limited to lightweights. Cargo drones and larger aircraft are already offering a huge benefit to industrial customers around the world. Over time, aircraft and regulations may evolve to support heavier payloads and expand the items that can be delivered by drone. A new study by open-source drone platform Autirian indicates that most residents in the U.S. expect packages to be delivered by drones, and while they do have concerns, the majority have a positive view. Skidio on Dawn of Drones, August 3rd. Join Dawn and her special guest from Skidio, Anna Wiesenthalberch, the company's VP of People Operations. Skidio is our sponsor of the month for August, which focuses on the theme of developing industry leaders. Skidio has made itself a strong reputation as a leading manufacturer of autonomous and cybersecure American made drones. But Skidio is also leading the way on developing industry leaders both within the company and external to it. Listen in as Don and Anna discuss the company's focus on developing the diverse workforce of tomorrow, the leaders are industry needs. Of tomorrow, the leaders are industry needs. Japan Drone 2022 draws more than 17,000 visitors. Japan has shown major commitment to the drone industry, since the late Prime Minister Shinzo Abe referred to the sector as part of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Since then, Japan has simultaneously heavily regulated the recreational industry while making significant accommodations in testing and bandwidth for the commercial industry. As Japan struggles with labor shortages, especially in remote areas, drones offer a tool that can bring products and services to island regions and perform industrial tasks with less manpower. NASA and Zipline signed Space Act Agreement to pursue MN drone operations. NASA recently signed a Space Act agreement with San Francisco-based Zipline to pursue a future vision of U.S. aviation that includes delivery drones and air taxis, says the NASA announcement. The agreement will help NASA to explore the concept of one pilot operating multiple drones, which they refer to as MN operations. In order for commercial drone operations like wide-scale delivery or security to scale economically, the industry must be able to move away from the concept of one pilot per aircraft. NASA is working with the aviation and drone industry to understand both the applications and the processes for these operations.
Drones on Mars, Skypersonic Tests Technology on Sicilism. Etna, piloted from Houston. Drone inspection leader Skypersonic successfully tested its software and hardware on T. Etna, an active volcano in Sicily where the terrain is comparable to the geology of Mars. In 2021, Skypersonic signed a five year contract with NASA for the supply of drone and rover software hardware, and support for NASA's forthcoming simulated Mars mission. Skypersonic Skycopter drone, capable of being piloted remotely in nearly any location, was flown by the Skypersonic team on Etna as part of a test that lasted 15 days. Utilizing Skypersonic's long-range real-time remote piloting system, the drone and rover on Etna were piloted in real-time by operators based in Houston, Texas. White House Summit on Advanced Air Mobility addresses security concerns and the need to authorize CUAS systems. Today, at the White House Summit on Advanced Air Mobility, stakeholders expressed concerns over security, the possibility of uncrewed technology being used by bad actors for terrorism or warfare, and the critical need for the reauthorization and expansion of the Preventing Emerging Threats Act of 2018 set to expire October 5, 2022. Drone Shield Handheld Counter Drone Solution Delivered to U.S. Government Agency Drone Shield, a leading developer of artificial intelligence based multi mission solutions, has received and fulfilled a follow on order for its portable and handheld counter UAS CUAS, solutions issued by a U.S. government agency. Drone Shield has received recognition for its best in class CUAS, counter drone or anti drone, systems including its RF Patrol and Drone Gun MK3. The company has previously received contracts from DOD, DHS, federal and state-level law enforcement agencies. As drones become an important tool in conflicts, detection and mitigation of small drones is increasingly critical for soldiers. It's a bird. It's a drone. Detect Dual Function Radar tracks both. A solution for finding both birds and drones is at hand. Today, Detect Inc. announced the world's first dual-function bird and drone radar for operation on U.S. military installations. The Merlin BDRDDR was developed for real-time, tactical operational bird strike avoidance, and Merlin now has true 3D for simultaneous bird and drone detecting capabilities. Detect specializes in advanced radar and remote sensing technologies, designed to protect the airspace around a wide variety of critical sites from airborne hazards. Subscribe to DroneLife.com for more commercial drone news.